Good morning, SMF Street Traders. What I am going to show is a 175 call that was hugely, grossly inflated over here. And when they got that inflated, they got down to the deflated area of $4 and they popped them right back to 18 That's a $14 move during the volatility of uh, Netflix. Now the contracts have rolled back down here to $8 on the bottom. They're not nearly as inflated as they were. And that's the call side and the 175 put which is right here is in a nicely deflated area these put options at one time are well above thirty dollars over here they're at the eleven dollar area they're down here in the they come from 16 down and now we've relevered back up and that's the 175 put versus the 175 call now let's take a look at the weekly chart that we have before us here and one of the things MMTs is is that like the rest of the markets, they just ran these things to oblivia without any pullbacks. You're below this rising pink line is a 50-week moving average. And like when we showed Apple earlier, Apple's bouncing off its 50-week. This one is selling below it. Therefore, if we remain resistance at the 50-week moving average, which is slightly right there at this 175 mark, right here, is that we would be a put buyer because if we can't close above 175, then that means this is going to have a weekly reversal that's in play right now. Half of this bar, if we're closing below that, let's see what that was, 171. So let's take a look and see exactly where that Netflix uh, closed at on the day, we can see that Netflix had a weekly low of 165.26 during that 11.7 week, which was this last week. The high was 178.69, so there was quite a top-down process. Hit 185 up on the highs, and it's clearly a uh, weekly reversal because the highs are much lower in price action right here compared to here so basically what we're going to be monitoring and what we'll be doing on this one is that's the weekly chart and we're extremely overbought meaning that the percent weekly ds is at 83 and we hit 83.94 right here at the highs and then we can't we so we're still overbought on the weekly so we're going to be watching this Netflix on how to get a 175 put option and we'll measure that 175 put versus the 170 uh, the, the call and the put ratio both at the 175 strike Netflix is overbought on a weekly it's below the 50 week moving average it's got support down here at the 10 week we'd love to buy it to go long at some point and this would be some part of the area that we'd be looking at is this weekly half bar right here MMTs that's 162.42 so from the top down is is that we take a look at the high here to that high and basically we're below that 50 week over here we were going through the 50 week as it was making its high and that's where that momentum was that's a rising 50 week moving average still has a rising tone to that 50 week however it will turn around it's a very strong trend to the upside but right now we're in a pullback phase where the bulls are taking profits and the bears are prospering because at 185 down to 165 that was a 20 dollar drop from here to here right there 165 185 so we had a twenty dollar drop in the three week period and what we're going to be looking at is how we can get this put to call ratio to work because we're like the market in, in in the broader general part of the market is overbought and the thing about it is these charts these weekly charts are all great bull trend charts but they're overbought so we're going to be watching the 175 call and the 175 put and basically we'll put the call in here and we'll notice that the call contracts 
and we'll set alarms on them page save so we'll save this here 175 175